Hello traders, FS Pipcolette here. Today is Wednesday, March 27th, and I'm going to be analyzing the Aussie US dollar. Starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So on the Aussie dollar, I still think this is very likely to be an uptrend. I still think it's an ABC, which I think is part of this W, three waves up for W, three waves down for X, and three waves up for wave Y, which I think right now we're already in the wave C of wave Y. So taking it down to the weekly time frame, on the weekly I still think this looks like the end of a correction right here, probably the end of a wave B, I think this is still a wave 1, whether or not the wave 2 is over is questionable, I don't really think it is over, I think probably it is going to go down more, maybe to the 78.6, before it actually does end this wave 2 and then go up and make that big old wave 3, big wave 4 and big wave 5 which should be a trend for the wave C of wave Y. So taking it down to the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I mean, there's always a possibility that this does just keep on trending up, especially looking at the weekly and monthly. But I think that is probably the least likely scenario. I think it's more likely that this is a wave A. I think it's more likely that this is three waves up for a wave B, and that we probably are trending down for a wave C. Probably go down to at least a 78.6 before we see that break of starts up, proving that the wave C is over and proving that we're back into the uptrend. I still think this five-way pattern up is a one. I still think we're in an ABC of two, and eventually we will go up for that big wave three. So taking it down to the 4 hour time frame, on the 4 hour time frame, like I said, there's always a possibility that it goes up, but I actually think that's least likely. I think that this is actually a downtrend, probably like a 1 of C. I think this big move up that we had at the news last week is a 2 of C. I think this is actually more likely that it is going to continue down for a wave 3 of wave C. So taking it right down to the one hour time frame. Now based on correlated pairs, especially looking at all the dollar pairs, I actually do think it is more likely to go up before it goes down. I think this is like a trend for wave A. This is very, it almost went down to made a new low, but I do think this is a wave B and I do think it probably is more likely to go back up to the 50 or the 38% Fibonacci retracement to make a wave C before it actually does continue the downtrend. Now the one thing to keep in mind is that the trend is definitely down on the daily time frame and up and it definitely looks like it should go up and make a wave C, but it honestly could just keep on trending down at any time. So definitely remember if you are looking for longs, then you are definitely counter trend trading and it definitely could just keep on trending down at any time. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel linked in the card up here above and don't forget to check out my new website linked down here below. As always, thanks and happy trading.